What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective like reading for sign of Aries. This can resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, 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 if it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest for general collective reading for sign of Aries. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type this to by the link to the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I received some channel messages in as I was meditating on your energy. The first one I heard... Um, Photos, the second one I heard memories, and the third one I heard family secrets. So photos, memories, and family secrets, you plug in how it resonates. Um, I feel for some you could be looking at photos um, or taking photos, or you could be a photographer, however that resonates and applies. Aries, or somebody you're connected to. So kind of memories, you're looking back on memories, or somebody you're connected uh, or you're thinking back on memories, or somebody you're connected to is thinking back on memories, however that resonates and applies. And um, family secrets. So your family has secrets or somebody you're connected to family has secrets. Somebody's family has secrets. How that resonates and applies. For some, you could be revealing these family secrets um, or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. I don't feel family should have secrets because that leads to toxicity. Family secrets lead to toxicity. And that's just the truth. If you might need to hear that. Number seven can be a very significant number in one's life. Number seven, it can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Well, a possible age of a child of you or somebody you're connected to or any other, any other significant number. Number seven, happiness. We have the full reverse, five of wands reversed, king of cups reversed. And Aries knows about a secret third party in their relationship, <clears throat> for one. But they're happy in their relationship, Facebook official relationship. Oh, okay. So you plug in how it resonates, some kind of Facebook official relationship. Um, so whoever you are, you know about the secret third party. It sounds like your partner has a secret third party or you do. Only you know if you have a secret third party or your partner does. Somebody in at least one of you guys' relationship has a secret third party, whether you do or your partner does. But I heard you're happy in it. You're happy. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. You're stuck like Chuck, but you're happy about this. Um, I heard Facebook officials. So you have some kind of Facebook official relationship. And you either have a third party secretly or your partner does. But you're cool with it. No conflict there. Because you want to be stuck like Chuck. I feel for some it could be uh, because of finances. Um, and I'm just being for real. If that resonates for you, it makes you happy. Um, it, so, it seems like your current partner is ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. But you like it that way because for some I feel it's you that has the secret third party. Because there's a reason you're happy about this. So I feel for some you stay in the Facebook official relationship for um, for finances, for material, is exactly what I think. There's no conflict there. You're stuck like Chuck. You're happy. And whoever your current partner is, whether it's a masculine or a femme that takes on masculine, they're ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you, but you have your cake and eat it too kind of thing. So it makes you happy. Happiness, if that resonates for you. Definitely staying in the relationship for material material gain. Definitely staying in the relationship for material gain. So I think you take photos with this primary partner. I think it's your primary partner. I think you take photos with them, like Facebook official photos to make it look like y'all are all good in the hood and everything looks beautiful and perfect and what have you, what have you. But in reality... You have somebody, a side piece, basically. I think you have a side piece. 
and it looks it looks all wonderful and happy and wonderful but it's not um but you really are happy with your secret side piece energy there if that resonates and applies aries but um only you know your situation story not anybody else okay love you guys so much and namaste